question number 12. Okay? It says, suppose that the velocity function is the quantity 1 plus the natural log of t squared all over t. Okay? And that is the velocity of an object in centimeters per minute. Okay? All right. It says that the displacement after one minute is one centimeter. Okay? And it wants us to find the displacement at time equals e. Okay? <coughs> so, to find the displacement, we first need to get the displacement function. Okay? So, the way we get that is by the position function. Okay? So, alright, so we know the velocity function. So, to get the position function, okay, we're going to get we need to take the antiderivative of it. So, the antiderivative of the velocity function equals the position function. Okay? So, the antiderivative of 1 plus natural log of t squared. Okay? To take the antiderivative of this, we have to use u substitution. Okay? So, in this case, we're going to want to choose a u to be the inside of the square term. Okay, so u would equal 1 plus the natural log of t. Okay, so when we have u, we need to find du also. Okay, so du is going to equal derivative of 1 is 0, derivative of the natural log of t is 1 over t. So, we see that we have a 1 over t dt in the problem, okay? So, when we replace everything in, we have the antiderivative of u squared times du, okay? So, the antiderivative of this is u cubed over 3, okay? Plus c, okay? So, since it's an indefinite integral, we use plus c. So then um, we plug in our u and we're going to get 1 plus the natural log of t cubed over 3 plus c. Alright, so we first need to figure out what is this c term. Okay? So it gives us that the displacement after 1 centimeter, or the displacement after 1 minute is 1 centimeter. So let's plug in 1. Alright, so s of 1 is going to equal 1 plus the natural log of 1 cubed over 3 plus c equals 1. Okay, so simplifying this, alright, 1 plus the natural log of 1, natural log of 1 is 0. So we just get 1 third plus c equals 1. Solving for c, we get c equal 2 thirds. Okay? So our position function okay, is going to be 1 plus the natural log of t cubed over 3 plus 2 thirds. Okay? So, since we're looking for the displacement after t equals e, we plug in e into that. Okay, so the position at e is going to equal 1 plus the natural log of e, that quantity q, over 3, plus 2 thirds. Okay, so the natural log of e is 1. Okay, so we have 1 plus 1, 2 to the third is going to equal 8 thirds, okay, and then plus 2 thirds, okay, that would lead us to get 10 thirds, okay, and that is